hear your boy calling earlier? No, what did he say? Are you sure you want to hear it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wanting to be able to go back on line later on and listen to the broadcast for the 9 o'clock show on the Titus. Oh, you're wondering if you'll be able to hear it on the website or something? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a podcast up on uh, 1065.com. Perfect. Do you yeah, have a you. favorite? Do you have a horse in the race? Yeah, I do. Jason. Oh, yeah. Jason. Okay. Are you guys more than just friends? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm that wasn't a no. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, we're family. Yeah. 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 So you guys are married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be up there, man. It'll be up there. Cool, thanks. It's the Woody and Wilcox Show here at 106.5 The End. And if you haven't uh, fanned us up on the Facebook, make sure you do that, whether it's The End or the Woody and Wilcox Show. And it's a special occasion because today marks the final day of our Carolina's Hottest competition. And if you haven't followed along for some reason, I don't know, a month or two ago, we uh, asked folks to submit pictures of themselves, preferably in uh, some sort of swim attire. And this, by the way, was the first time that we ever had the dudes have their own separate category. Right. And uh, you went on, you voted on the website, and each person was uh, going to win their own uh, rock flyaway if they were the vote getter in each category, both male and female. And we've decided to bring our finalists in each category in and uh, eventually crown a winner here on the show this morning based on your votes on the website. So in the studio with us is uh, Ashley. Good morning, Hi. Ashley. Good morning. How are you? Great. How are you? Great. Ashley is one of our finalists, mm-hmm. obviously on the female side of the docket. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jason is in the studio as well. What's up, Jason? Uh, Not too much. How's it going? We're doing great. Now, so yesterday you got a call from somebody, correct, from the radio station? Correct. Do do either of you remember sort of what you were told on that uh, phone call from that person that called? Go ahead, Jason. Okay. uh, I think it was was Sheila. Sheila, right. Sheila called me. She said, hey, uh, uh, we're going to have the finalists in the studio tomorrow. If you could be here about 9 o'clock, come on down and... uh, We'll put you on the air and announce the winner. And I'm guessing maybe that you noticed that there uh, doesn't seem to be any other finalists in the studio uh, in both the male and female category. Mm-hmm. It's not because they're late, but mm-hmm. it's because you guys are the winner. Yeah. 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 I know it wasn't a great surprise, but <laughs> my guess is at some point as you sat here thinking, where are the other finalists? Why haven't they come into the studio yet? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we actually won this thing. And uh, you guys did. So you're going to get to choose your own uh, rock flyaways, figure out where you want to go and, and who you want to see. Uh, but I want to find out first what, uh, Ashley, we'll start with you. Um, wh- what made you decide to get into the competition? Honestly, my fiance made me do it. Ah, (laughs) he made you do it. He did. He made me submit a picture. (laughs) And were you? I mean, were you frightened? Why? Why do you say made you? You didn't want to. Uh, very modest. Just didn't think I had a chance. To be honest. (laughs) Really, that is modest because (laughs) wow, you absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, Jason says wow. Yeah, I think every guy in the studio would agree that you definitely had a chance. There is nothing hotter than a girl with low self esteem. <laughs> are you uh, are you from the Charlotte area? I am. Where'd you grow up? Uh, pretty much grew up in Huntersville, but born in Charlotte. Gotcha. And Jason, what's your deal, man? Did your uh, your husband try to get you into this? Too? <laughs> <laughs> I got on the radio because I wanted y'all to talk about my prosthetic. Yeah, well, I wanted I, to see you mention it. I was you know? going to get to that, and it, you know, for those who can't see, and if you haven't been to the website, Jason, uh, you, you've only got one arm, and uh, I, I don't know the story behind it. I, I'm guessing there is one. Yeah. Um, well, actually, I was uh, car. In 2006, and they shot me a uh, point blank range with a shotgun. Come on, I'm dead serious. Went oh right, God. went right through my arm into my abdomen. Took out my liver, my lungs. I got all big ass scar. That's wow. my oh. on the set. It shows the scar. I mean, yeah, that's what happened. A yeah, carjacking. Yeah. What kind of? Tell me, you were driving like a Suzuki SX4 crossover hatchback, like <laughs> I drive. Xterra, dude. Wow. Xterra. Uh, here in Charlotte. Here in Charlotte, Cedar dude. Street. Dude, wow. So I can't tell how far up the... Uh... Uh, below elbow. Got my elbow. Oh, my God. But you got to have it. You got to rock it. I got two more being made right now, so... It is a very cool prosthetic, the coolest prosthetic I think I've ever seen. Got to have it. Make it something you want. You Dude, know? That's a, that sounds like one of those stories that you make up to tell what, you know, the real boring story is. Uh... I wish. Damn, that's amazing, <laughs> no, man. No. Wow. No. They get the car? They didn't take the car. They left. 
What? Why? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't take the car. They left, and uh, that was it. They left me there. I woke up a month later. Carolina's Medical Center. Dude, wow. that is a terrible story. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. It's insane, but hey. Do jokes still- on them, I live. Take that, you bottle bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, actually, it makes you look kind of silly having two arms. I can't top that one. You got way too many arms over here. He did it with one. You didn't need the extra arm. Wow, man. That's a hell of a story. Are you still driving the same car? No. Got rid of that one. No more. more. (laughs) Downgraded into something else? Honda. Uh, Well, (laughs) they want a truck. Hey, they'll have a car now. (laughs) That's right. Wow. Yeah, Yeah, I guess it's bad luck at that point, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. If you're driving an Xterra right now, you may want to rethink it. (laughs) That's not true. The fine folks at Nissan (laughs) are wonderful, wonderful manufacturers of cars. I take it back. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Uh, So what do you do, man? What's your story? Uh, Other than getting at, a, a tremendous carjacking story out in the open. <laughs> well, now I'm pretty boring. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I work at uh, Mar Corporation here in Charlotte. And we build uh, big metering systems. It's interesting. We have fun. Great, great office. You know, I made them all vote for me. Uh, give a shout-out to Jessica and Felicia. Love you all. I was on them every day going in, hey, did you vote? Did you vote? And uh, they, they've just been great. You know, I've had a lot of support. And um, other than that, other than kayaking, spending much time in the water as I can, I'm pretty boring, y'all. Ashley, yeah. you're not allowed to say anything to your husband, by the way. Let's keep the fantasy going that there is no husband out there. Okay? <laughs> All right, that's fine for crying out loud. What are your turn-ons, Ashley? <laughs> Do you like uh, short, fat men who make fart jokes on the radio? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no. Yeah, absolutely. There was no response there. Well, hopefully, now that you've been crowned the winner, maybe there are some other photos that could make their way up to the website so that folks could really find out, you know, everything there is to know about. In person, Jason is hot. (laughs) Yeah, I was... Him what too. I've been told. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, you bottle bitch. <laughs> well, congratulations, guys. Uh, we're glad you took part in it, and congratulations on winning. Thank and you. Do you guys uh, have ideas on bands you want to see, where you want to see them? Who's, you know, there's a ton of people that are out on tour, obviously, with it being summer. Ashley, any idea uh, who, you, who you want to take me uh, to go see? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where to go, honestly. You have, have a favorite band? I like so many of them. It's hard to say. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I want to go somewhere I hadn't been before. Right. So you know, Incubus is coming to Charlotte. You should go there. <laughs> They're awesome in concert. Oh, come on, but I want to fly somewhere. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. Y'all got any ideas? Uh, Woody's a big Barry Manilow fan, <laughs> uh, but I think you have to go to his house actually to watch that. <laughs> Bigger so. than you think. <laughs> Yuck. Jason, what about you, man? Oh, it's three eleven for me. Three eleven. Three eleven. Nice. Yeah, new album out too. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know where I'm going, but. Uh... I don't know. Well, we'll find out after you guys make the choices, and I know that there's a lot to uh, to think over, and then we'll figure out where you guys are going. We'll find out how it all played out. Awesome. Oh, awesome, guys. Congratulations again. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming by. I hope I know it doesn't make up for the arm, man, but... Uh, <laughs> you know what? It's, it's all a, good. It's a start. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's, it's a small start. It's Ashley and Jason, and they have won for Carolina's Hottest, and uh, you can check out the photos at 1065.com. Podcast will be up as well after the show.